Hello YouTube, Serpentium7 here. It is August 15th, 2011, and uh, that date is the date that we've been waiting on uh, Comet Honda, Comet Honda MP, but uh, unfortunately for us Northern Hemisphere viewers, we're not going to be able to see it right now. Um, this this uh, is astrobob.com, astrobobareavoices.com, excuse me, like always I'll include the links, but um this was written uh, before the 15th talking about you know how uh, Comet Honda is going to be pretty close on the 15th uh, about its closest between the 15th and the 16th I believe it was or 17th I'm not sure but uh, I scrolled down here just to uh, get into to more uh, recent news about Honda and if we whether or not we'll see it now, uh, just reading here, I wanted to point out, the closer a celestial object is to Earth, the faster it appears to move across the sky because the comet is closing in on minimum distance from Earth. It's quickly picking up speed, covering more and more ground as we approach the 15th, okay? Remember, it's not, you know, this is the 15th now. Tonight, for instance, it travels some two degrees or four times the full moon's diameter in the southern constellation of Grus the Crane. Tomorrow that increases to 3 degrees and by the 14th to 15th Honda MP flies across some 10 degrees of sky. Your clenched fists held at arm's length in just one night. Pretty amazing. The next night or two the comet will still be visible from the far southern states. Low in the south around 1 a.m. But by the 14th only southern hemisphere observers will see it. So up until the 15th uh, us in the United States, we won't be able to see it in the southern uh, skies until uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what does it say again? About 1 a 1 a.m. somewhere around there. To spot the comet, you'll need at least a small telescope, since it's very d diffu diffuse and will get no brighter than eighth magnitude. They don't know that comets change magnitude all the time. The moon will also ne be near or at full phase, lighting up the sky and making it even harder to find. So, Comet Honda, it sounds like we it may not be so spectacular, but it's still, it's still, we've still got time. We've still got time. Continuing. After closest approach, Honda MP swings back north and slowly continues to brighten, reaching sixth magnitude. Once again, that's just a, a prediction. A lot, all these comets, they, they always turn out to be different than what they thought. Naked Eye Limit is six ma in that magnitude for Comet Honda, okay? And that's in late September. So now we're looking at Comet Honda uh, for us uh, in the United States. Uh, we shouldn't see it really well until late September with the Naked Eye. So that date has changed. So don't look too hard for it. Like I said, about 1 a.m. in the southern sky, look for it if you have a telescope or maybe even binoculars. I haven't tried yet, but I will tomorrow night. Okay, and continuing. All right, in late September and finally can, uh, appearing in the morning sky before dawn for, for northern hemisphere sky watchers in the early October. It's expected to be an easy binocular comet then, shining around 7th magnitude. So we'll be able to see... Uh, Comet Honda, probably the same time Elenin's around. Hopefully, we'll get to see Elenin and, and Honda. On the morning of October 7th, it will be joined by Comet Elenin, 4 degrees, 8 full moons to its north. Although both comets will be at different distances from Earth, 90 million miles for Honda MP and 22 million for M Elenin. See, that's strange because I thought Honda was coming closer than Elenin. Anyways. They'll lie in approximately the same line of sight. With wide field binoculars, you'll be able to catch them both in the same field of view. What a wonderful and rare sight this will be. If we can see it, let's hope we, we can, because, I mean, this is probably a once-in-a-lifetime thing here. And speaking of Comet Elenin, southern observers continue to observe and photograph it. It's now magnitude 9 with a 3-4 to four arc minute coma and visible in 4-inch and larger telescopes, so smaller telescopes are starting to spot these things here so it's not too late to go get you a telescope if you can afford one get you something good and you can uh, go here to find more latest views on the stereo B if you need if you want 
and uh, that's Astro Bob again. And uh, now here on uh, Astro Blog about Comet 45P Honda MP visible in the southern skies. There's not much information here, but I'm bringing this up just to uh, compliment the the first website that I brought up here briefly. But okay, Comet 45P Honda. The left image here, location of com Comet 45P in the southern sky at 10 p.m. And the right image, location of 45 45P in the southern skies at 5 a.m. You can click on these images to uh, also bring them to printable charts. So this is this is pretty good here information. If you're really interested in knowing exactly where these are, go ahead and come here to this. I, I will provide this website. Enlarge these, print them out if you want. Find these com uh, this Comet Honda. Comet 45P Honda is now bright enough to see in binoculars in the southern hemisphere skies. Unfortunately, it is also a time when the bright full almost full moon is in the skies like right now it is best seen early in the morning when the comet is at its highest and the moon is low on the horizon it says here tonight Saturday uh, the 13th so last Saturday it is close to lots of beautiful clusters in a small megalanic cloud and then it says here uh, for Stellarium users I uh, I can't verify this. I'm not going to really re read into this, but it says unfortunately for Stellarium users, Stellarium gives the wrong position for Comet Honda. So check these uh, grids out and let's figure out uh, exactly where this thing is. I I'm going to find it here pretty soon. But uh, map suitable for use with binoculars to locate the comet tonight. The rectangle is approximate field of view for grass 12. The circle is approximate field of view of 10 by 50 binoculars. So go, go ahead and uh, get these star charts and then figure out how to find them. I just don't have the proper recording equipment to put this stuff up. So, But I will soon. So, And then uh, of course I remember in my uh, one of my last videos about the comets. I brought up Comet Gerard. A little more, more info, new info on Comet Gerard. Seen in the night sky. The comet with the nomenclature C2009P1 is now coming into small telescope binocular view. So here's your chance to see the brightest comet in the current night sky. So this thing is, is far and it's, it's the brightest comet right now it's saying. Okay, continuing. You can find it in the late evening sky in the constellation Pegasus. Viewing it now. Gerard is just coming out the fuzzball stage and its tail is just coming into view. Some say it's much better looking than Comet Elenin. That has been needlessly grabbing some headlines. And I, yes, Elenin has grabbed way too much attention. Holy jeez. <laughs> For example, if you want to know, just look at uh, Terrell 03's videos and look at his views. If you, <laughs> and I, I call that hysteria. Anyways, continuing. Comet Gerard was discovered two years ago by Gordon Gerard from the Siding Spring Observatory in Australia and is currently visible through a small telescope at magnitude 9. So the people in the southern hemisphere seem to be lucky about all these comets. But us in the United States, uh, like I said, uh, for Honda, you can print these out here, find Honda, and remember, uh, keep in mind, uh, there's a chance that Stellarium uh, gives the wrong position for Comet 45P and Comet Gerard is uh, brightening up so uh, we've got a lot of things to look for in the early morning skies and uh, this one here uh, like I said Ellen and now is starting to look like the least of, of the best you know the least out of all four of these comets and uh, more to come on Comet Levy or Levi, however you pronounce it, but uh, uh, still, still a little bit of mystery on Comet Levy, so I'm not going to get too much into that tonight. There's not really any r real good news on Levy, but I'm going to continue to monitor Gerard, and like I said, pretty soon I'll have the proper equipment to start getting this stuff, and uh, I'm not going to be um, focusing on. Uh, lens flares and uh tripping while I'm filming and I don't know that 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 Donnie Gilson guy is crazy I just had to say that and uh for those of you who like my uh Terrell 03 spoof 
Donnie Gilson's next. <laughs> 